All right, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 5, and in this lesson we're going to be making 10 to add within 100. So we're going to continue using the uh, strategy from the previous video, uh, only this time it's going to be with bigger problems. So as a quick recap, we've got a 9. That's pretty close to 10. So we're going to decompose the 3 to give us a 1 and a 2, and that way... The 9 plus 1 is 10, so 10 plus 2 is 12. So that's our general strategy. We're going to decompose one of the two numbers so that we could bump something up to a 10, or a multiple of 10. So let's take a look at B. So we've got 29 plus 5. So 29 is pretty close to 30. It just needs one more. So let's decompose that 5 to 1 plus 4. So 29 plus 1 is 30 plus 4 gives us 34. And so that's the idea. Now teachers, if students want to decompose something other than what you would have thought they should decompose, Get, let them have a go at it. Let them see what they do. I mean, let them see what they could do and watch them. I mean, it's quite possible that the students will decompose differently than you and yet still be correct. So allow them that flexibility. So let's look over here. So 49 plus 7. Well, 49 is pretty close to 50. Um, so I'm going to decompose the 7 to be 1 and 6. So 49 plus 1 is 50. 50 plus 6 is 56. Now, is this the standard algorithm that we're going to expect students to use forever? No way. This is just we're making explicit a uh, mental strategy that we, we do want students to have um, familiarity with. And our last one here on this screen. So 59 plus 6, well, 59 is pretty close to a multiple of 10. It's pretty close to 60. We just need one more. So I'm going to decompose that 6 to 1 and 5. So now we have 59 plus 1 is 60, plus 5 gives us 65. And our last problem for this video, it says use the RDW process. So that's read, draw, and write, all right, to solve this problem. So we're going to read the question first. And it says there were 28 students at recess. So I'm going to underline that because that seems to be important. A group of seven students came outside to join them. I'm going to underline that because that seems important too. Now the question is, how many students are there now? So if we wanted to draw it, one way to draw it, would be to say, well, we have 28 students, seven more students join them. So the question is, how many students do we have all together? And then, so that's a example, one example of what the drawing might look like. Teachers and parents, let your students come up with their own drawing, and it's perfectly fine. But we do want to solve the problem, so we've got 28 plus 7, and we can see that 28 is pretty close to 30. It just needs two more. So let's decompose 7 to 2 plus 5. So 28 plus 2 is 30, plus 5 is 35. So how many students are there now? There are 35 students students. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 5, Making a 10 to Add Within a 100.